Hey all you sketchy people, welcome back to my channel, Jack here, and in today's video, I took a look at the witch's house up here in Forest Park. I did a little art drop, and I'm also going to be showing some sketches in the week that was. So without further ado, let's get sketchy. Oh, and be sure to stick around to the end of the video for my review of the new Beetlejuice movie. And a quick correction, I kept calling it the witch's house. It's the witch's castle, or the stone house. I was blending the two. Anyway, right here over the Burnside Bridge, this is part of the Portland Marathon. The Portland Marathon was first ran in 1972 on Salve Island and only had 86 runners. But we're making our way on a glorious fall day up to Forest Park to go check out the witch's castle. And about a half mile in, you will find this old stone ruin known as the Stone House or Witch's Castle. And here in Forest Park, this was a building that was designed for a public toilet and storage room, which was completed in 1936. But the Columbus Day Storm of 62 destroyed it, and we are left with the stone shell that we see here. And it gets a little creepy. Awesome. So, what do you think of the witch house? I really love looking at all the art that people have added to it over time. Found the art drop, I did. I, I'm, and I appreciate you two so much. So, enjoy the witch's house. Enjoy your weekend. Thank you. Yeah, yeah stay sketchy. Yeah. yeah, you too. And the sketch I included in today's art drop was on point for the location we're at. Yeah, witch's castle. Comment down below. Let me know if you've been there. What you think of it and uh, other favorite places you like to visit. I've never seen a fuzzy bike before. One of my favorite things to sketch are people playing instruments in public. I love drawing buskers, street performers. I just find it really awesome uh, to see people playing out live in public. Always a fun sight to see. And this person fit the bill. Always love drawing musicians out there in public. So keep playing, keep jamming, and I'll see you soon. And a glorious morning last week as I cruise over the St. John's Bridge into St. John's to pick up a new Willamette Week newspaper. Check out these blue boxes and you will see comics in print every Wednesday. So make sure you get out and pick up a paper to see some amazing cartoonists and comics and, of course, your weekly sketchy people. And I want to give a shout out to a local business here on Southeast Hawthorne Boulevard. This is Memento. And this is a great shop to pick up a lot of cool original art. And of course, your sketchy people. Memento has been supporting sketchy people for years and uh, did a new drop. So they are stocked and ready to go to keep your holiday season sketchy. Get your library sketchy today. Sometimes I gotta work from memory, and this is a perfect example where I was driving over the Burnside Bridge and saw this person, but I, I couldn't stop for a photo or a chat, so I had to pull over at the side of the road at my earliest convenience to quickly sketch down in my sketchbook as many as the details as I could remember. So sometimes I have to do sketchy people based off of memory, and uh, this is what I remember from this person. 
One of my favorite things about sketchy people is just meeting new people. And I met this person here, B, uh, before we were going to the movies last week. And we went to the Lloyd Center Theater and we were going to go see the new Beetlejuice. And B was dressed up, ready to go to watch the Joker movie. Joker 2 is out and I can't wait to see it as well. So thanks to B, nice to meet you and amazing look on a movie night. And now my review for the new Beetlejuice movie. Bummer juice, bummer juice, bummer juice. This new one lacked the cohesion and quirkiness magic that the first one had. It was great to see Michael Keaton back in the Beetlejuice role, as well as Catherine O'Hara and Winona Ryder, but the on-screen chemistry was just not there. A lot of plot points that was just way too bloated, and I think this movie needed a lot more editing and rewrites done. It was kind of like getting an apple when you go out trick-or-treating. For me, it was a letdown, although I had fun going to the theater. I love seeing horror-type movies in the Halloween season. If you did see the new Beetlejuice, comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Got a show. October 19th, Saturday, Frankenstein comic swap at the Lloyd Center Mall. It'll be in the old H&M location, so come on out and let's get sketchy. And until then, if I haven't drawn you yet, stay your true, lovely, sketchy self because you could be next and stay sketchy. See ya. Kids, instead of candy, I thought I'd serve an array of healthy, fresh fruits. Mm.